at AUC stands for Appropriate Use Criteria. Um, regulatory agencies, um, uh, hospitals, and insurance companies have asked uh, specialist societies to create AUCs to help guide when um, uh, specialized medical tests and services are needed and appropriate. The new generation of uh, PET scans that use a different isotope than the regular PET scan that we are used to. Uh, the regular PET scan we use FDG, which is a radioisotope that uses glucose uh, as its uh, backbone molecule. Whereas here we're using something uh, that uh, binds to the estrogen receptor, which is a radioisotope of estradiol. So it can detect uh, estrogen receptor positive uh, cancers uh, of interest are lobular cancers because as we know 95% of them are driven by the estrogen receptor. It can detect, uh, it's very specific at detecting cells in the mechanism of 200 cells and above. So it can really detect very uh, minute amounts of uh, cancer cells. So this particular AUC that we're discussing is an a appropriate use criteria for fluoroestradiol or FES PET. A new um, uh, medical imaging test that helps evaluate where estrogen receptor is expressed. And as estrogen receptor uh, is uh, highly expressed in many breast cancers, FES PET can be a value for patients with breast cancer. Having uh, an AUC, which is the appropriate use criteria for FES PET, is a great tool because now the clinician can refer to that AUC and know when it is appropriate to order such tests. For patients with lobular breast cancer, um, it is a, 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 there's some good and some bad. The bad is due to the way that lobular breast cancers grow, they become very difficult to detect on many types of medical imaging, such as mammography, ultrasound, and MR, as well as some nuclear medicine tests, such as FEG PET. But it has been found that more than 99% of lobular breast cancers highly express estrogen receptor, which is what is looked for by the fluoroestradiol or FES PET scan. So FES PET provides a new method for imaging lobular breast cancer by detecting the highly expressed estrogen receptor in these tumors and we hope that in many patients, this will provide an avenue for imaging uh, their breast cancer, which has been missed by so many other imaging modalities. T will be published and available online for all clinicians uh, at the reference guide. Uh, it's been uh, written in, uh, in a language that's easily understandable and it's been graded so they can uh, be used uh, to, uh, to order that specific test. Also, it can be used by insurance companies to help uh, guide them which patient they can cover it for and which they will not cover it for depending on the indication. So I would say the AUC is important for both the clinicians, so they can have it as a reference guide to know when it's appropriate to order it. Also, it's going to be used heavily by insurance companies to uh, determine coverage uh, for that specific uh, test. Again, it's going to be available online, it's currently available, however, once published, it's going to be widely more available, but it's a tool available for free online uh, for the use for clinicians and also patients can also find it online and go over it as well. Appropriate use criteria are established by uh, individual medical societies. Uh, in this case, it's the Society of Nuclear Medicine and Molecular Imaging, 
which are experts in using radionuclides for imaging and treating cancers, who established a working group to discuss and then publish their recommendations for how, uh, what are the appropriate uses for, for FES PET. There are different types of uh, organizations like the National um, a Comprehensive Cancer Network or the NCCN. They are a network of multiple institutions across the United States. Uh, and they put out guidelines on how they believe cancers should best be treated, including uh, 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 not just the treatment, but also uh, prevention, uh, imaging, um, surgery, uh, chemotherapy, radiation therapy. Each individual guideline is of course separate, but many of them are interrelated. For example, at this point in time, the NCCN can now consider the SNMMI appropriate use criteria for FES in deciding how they make recommendations about how breast cancers should be imaged. Uh, we hope that the NCCN will uh, strongly consider the new uh, SNMMI appropriate use criteria um, and then many of the recommendations that occur in the SNMMI appropriate use criteria will translate over into the NCCN guidelines for breast cancer. Clinician uh, often has the difficult job of determining by themselves when to utilize the different medical tests uh, medical imaging and medical treatments that are available uh, for their patients. Uh, an appropriate use criteria that's published from a society such as this uh, 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 AUC for fluoroestradiol, PET, um, can help guide clinicians as to when other experts have suggested uh, the imaging test should be utilized. For example, we use FDG PET, which is, I think, what most people would call the, the standard PET these days, to help determine how advanced an initial tumor is and help determine if patients are responding uh, to treatment. Those may not be necessarily be the optimal uses of FES PET. FES PET, for example, the AUC suggests utilizing it to help oncologists determine which patients are best suited for endocrine uh, therapies. So even though they're both PET scans, they're utilized to answer different clinical questions. Having an AUC describe where each imaging test is best utilized can help clinicians uh, 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 educate clinicians as to when they should be best utilizing the test and how those clinicians can inform their patients um, when the test should be best utilized. Anyone can make recommendations to the NCCN for certain data or publications to be considered for NCCN guidelines. I think the more people that uh, suggests to the NCCN uh, that the FES AUCs should be considered for the NCCN guidelines, uh, the more likely it is that the NCCN uh, will review uh, those criteria uh, favorably.